channel guys, Shannon Sam from Shannon's Live With It. I'm back again on grading the fish, okay? I did the video about grading the fish uh, last two, three videos. Some of you guys probably seen it already. Still people are confused about grading the shiners. Now, the shiner has to be graded through the graders, okay? I give them the numbers. Each number is like, a, let's say, the size of the shiner, the smaller the number are the smaller size of the shiners. The bigger number are the bigger size of the shiners. How do you know that, okay? If I say number 27, you take 27 divided by 64, so you get the gap size. Okay, if I say 32, you take 32 divided by 64, you got a half inch gap, that's bigger shiners, okay? That's how I grip the shiners. And now when you call small, medium, medium, large, and large, or jumbo. Today I'm gonna show you how I do it. I'm gonna use this tape measure. Oh, this way. This way, tape measure, yeah. So you get to see how I call them small shiners, extra large shiners, and jumbo. Well, we got some jumbo. That jumbo is way too big. That thing break my bank account. I don't make no money on them. <laughs> All right. If you're gonna do a uh, small shiner first. Oops. Sorry. I gotta, I gotta grab the shiner. Okay, right here, it's sitting. Okay, this is small shiner. Okay, you okay? Can you see? Can you see better? Can you see better? Okay, this is uh, considered to be uh, number 27 grader. All right, this is a small shiner, guys. From head to the end of the tail is about four inches, okay? I consider it to be a small. If you're asking, if you're asking for the small shiner, this is what you're gonna get. Okay, between zero all the way to four and a half, four inches, it's gonna be a small shiner. Okay, now let me put this guy back. Them are small shiners. Now you see how easy it is to grab the fish. When you go to the bait shop, you ask him for small. That's what you're gonna get. Oh, I'll take that back. Now that's a standard for shiners unlimited. Anywhere else, I don't know how they call it. They probably call this a jumbo. <laughs> They probably call this guy the Jumbo, okay? No, that's small. Yeah, this is small for us. Shiners are limited. We have our own standard and we show it to our customers. Now. Ooh, big one, mama. Now here's our uh, medium large, okay? Let's take a look at this. You get them. The lens is wet. Got it? Okay. From now, you see that? From zero up to five and a half inches. That's what you call a medium large, okay? Medium, medium large. That's what you're gonna get from Shannon's Unlimited, guys. So when you're asking for medium large, you're gonna get a medium large. Now, these guys here, now from zero, all the way up to six inches. Okay, we call them large shiners, and up to seven, large shiners. See how beautiful that is? Okay, this is domestic shiners, guys. Okay, I didn't put them back before they say goodbye on me. Okay, I got some jumbos in here. Okay. 
Now, we see this China? This is extra large or jumbo. When you come to China's Eliminate, you're asking for extra large or jumbo domestic. This is what you're gonna get, seven inches and up, okay? Seven inches and up, some are eight inches or nine inches. Now, these guys right here, is when I said, I'm not making any money on them. They're way too big. We buy them by a pound, Oop. Okay, you got any? All right. Now, uh, we buy our shiners by a pound. The bigger they are, the more chance that you're not making no money on them because we sell them by a dozen. If two, three or four of that equal to a pound and you take three pounds for a dozen, you're losing money. You hear me? You're losing money. Now let me grab a grater. I'm gonna show you guys how I do this stuff. See, like I said last couple videos, I show you guys about uh, using the graters. But I did mention a little bit how bigger the size of the sh um, the size of the shiner is bigger the size of a grater. Okay. Now each grater they rep they have their own number. The bigger the number, it's the bigger size of the shiner. The small shiners, we do number 27. Okay, 27 is gonna be a little bit of a smaller gap than this. This right here is number 32. Number 32, that's a half inch gap. But actually this is the 36, okay? A little bit bigger than a half inch. Bigger fish will stay inside this box. Those we call a jumbo, jumbo fish, okay? Now, that's sizing the shiners. And hopefully you guys understand better. I got a customer to come in and say, Sam, I need a um, small shiner or a large shiner. Well, when they give them large shiners, they are way too big for them. And they want the little one like this. And I give them the little one, that's all call them small. And they say, oh, I buy this from somewhere else. They tell me this is large. Well, you know what? We have different standards. Any other base shop, probably call them large when they are small but here when they're small i call them a small right honey well we have more variety of sizes yes so that way we satisfy our customers bigger the shiners i don't make money on them the bigger the shiners i don't make money on them especially them jumbos them jumbos my customers are happy and i am not happy <laughs> but you gotta get rid of it bigger shiners bigger bass Oh, okay, that's true. Bigger shiners, bigger bass, don't make no money. Smaller shiners, little bit smaller bass, I made a little bit of money. How's that? Good? I don't want to say him with a customer, but <laughs> I got to make them all happy, guys. When they show up in the front gate, 5, 6 o'clock in the morning, you give them a little bitty bit. <laughs> The little bitty bait there, they're gonna get me killed. <laughs> now grating a fish, I have to grate it a night before. I cannot grate it. You see what I mean about my bird? Every Ignore. time. Stop it, I'm talking. I'm trying to be famous here. <laughs> okay. The bird is interrupting. All right, I always grate my bait a night before. So I know what I have, and I know how many boats gonna be in the next morning. Okay, like this morning, there were about 10, 15 boats. The boat, they all like to use the jumbo size. Now, what I did here for domestic shiners only, not for wild shiners, okay? Now, wild shiners are a little bit different, come on. And that refer back, and that refer back to a few videos in the past that I make and show you guys the wild shiners. The wild shiners now are spawning. Just like the bass and the crappie, they are tough to get, okay? The bigger one probably spawning, and the catcher right now out there is having a tough time bringing the shiners. What I have in the tanks right now are mainly medium, medium large, and hardly we get any large shiners because the bigger ones are spawning, okay? And we don't have that much at all. It's gonna be like this for quite some time. It's gonna be like this for maybe another two, three weeks. And then, 
all the bigger shine is gonna come out and see it, that's when we catch them, okay? Now that we already talked about domestic shiners and the wild shiners, now minnows. The minnows, we also grade them too. I had a lot of complaints that my minnows are way, way too big or way, way too small. You gotta please everybody. So you know what I did? I ordered medium size only. So everybody's happy. <laughs> I gotta place a lot of people. I forgot to place you. I always place you. This is my menu, honey. Look, medium size. You got a mix of everything. This was customers one. You know them later one. You can't even put a hook on it. When they are too small, you can hook it. Too big, too small, or too. Too thick, too thin, I don't understand, okay? This is what I got, guys. Shiners and minnows got good minnows. Some of these minnows will catch you the tip, I mean, uh, the five pound bass, seven pound bass, okay? Living proof. We had a couple on the cane pole with minnows on it. If you guys don't catch the bass with the minnow, you do something. Honey, I'm sorry, the bird is here. Nina, Bumbo, stop it. All right, guys. Hopefully you understand everything here. Okay? We'll be right back. <laughs> I mean, every time that I try to talk. She tried to talk over you. Yeah, and I talk over me. Fill her bow up, honey. Hi, Nina. Can I ever, can I ever talk freely without you interrupt? What, do you want this? What, do you want some? You want some? You want to say it? You want some? No. I'm not giving it to you. You don't say nothing. You want some? Hello. Now you don't want to talk. You don't want to talk, huh? I think the one that what you hold in your hand make them afraid they don't want to talk. Oh. Little bit shy. Feather. Yeah, baby. You like it? Mmm. <laughs> They're being like that. Now, they waste. <laughs> if you guys ever think in having a macaw, they waste more food than they eat. Okay? They waste more food than they eat. When they get pissed off, they'll throw everything away. They empty the whole bowl. <laughs> yeah, they empty the whole bowl. Just like our kids, when they give them bad cereal. <laughs> when the cereal don't have no sugar in it, they dump everything out. No, it's when you give them green. Oh, crap. vegetables? Yeah. Don't like vegetables. The kids don't like vegetables. They like this guy here. When they get pissed off, they throw everything away. Okay, guys, this is it. This is how I grade and sizing my shiners. And I hope you guys like the videos. I hope you guys understand. I hope you guys learn something from these videos, okay? If you like the video, guys, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. Let's see you.